what's good people tunji again from cesar graphics welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials okay today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this simple looking church poster so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial Okay, so let's create a new document. So I'm going to click on File, New, and I'm going to change this to 780 by 780. All right, and I'm going to leave every other setting the way they are. So I'm going to click OK. So let's bring in our first image, which is this. I'm going to drag it and drop like so, and I'm going to scale this down. So as you can see now, you see we have this white space here that we have it here. So let's cover those spaces. I'm going to make a copy of this and I'll hit the control T on my keyboard and I'll flip this and position it somewhere here like so. All right. Then I'm going to add a vector mask, select brush. Now make sure your brush is on the soft round brush. All right. So this is some rubber brush here, and I'm going to be using black, all right, because black takes out the what's on the layer. So I'm just going to brush like so, okay, and I'm going to move this in just a little bit, and I'll brush to take out that part like so. So the next thing I'm going to do again is to make a copy of that same layer, and I'm going to move it to this side. Like so, and I'm doing the same thing with the brush tool and make sure you're on the vector max box. And I'm just gonna make this like so. Alright. So just take out this part like so. So make a copy of this again. And I'm just gonna push this in like so. Okay. So I'm going to hide this one and I'll hold down Ctrl Shift Alt and E to stamp visible of the layers. Then I'm going to select the spot healing to here and I'm just going to brush like so and I'll do the same thing here like so. Alright, I can even go further by just clicking here and do the same thing here. Object selection to here because I'm using Photoshop CC 2020. So I'm just going to drag to select the three because I'm going to be creating my own custom background for this project. So I'm going to go to select and select, select and mask. And I'll increase the size of my brush. Make sure I define edge of brush tool. So I'll check the, the contaminate colors box here. So I'm going to increase the contrast to 5% and this should be a new layer, all right? I'm gonna zoom out. And I'm going to just hit the OK button. So I want this to be on the new layer. So I've checked this, uh, I've selected this option here. So the next thing is to fill the background with a cloud filter. I'm trying to create this bad weather feel. So I want it to look like despite the bad weather, it's not affecting the tree. So I'm going to create a new layer now. And I'll call this, and I'm just going to say okay. Now I need to change this to black and white. So I'll hit this icon here and I'll fill it with black with old backspace. So I'm going to go to filter, render, and I'll select cloud here. Okay. And I'm going to zoom out. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is to put this behind the layer of the tree. And I'll make this visible again. All right. So this is what we have now. I'll make the tree visible. Cloud, I'm going to convert this to smart object and I'll hit the free transform to scale this big. So I'm going to add the vector mask. I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm just going to brush with my program being black. So the next thing I'm going to do again now is to stand visible of the layer. I'm going to hold Ctrl Shift Alt and E. To stand visible of our layer, so we need to change the color of the field. So I'm going to go to filter, camera filter. So I'm going to reduce the exposure, all right, to make it a little bit darker. And for the contrast, I'm going to dial that down like so. 
and for highlight i'm going to push that up just to add more uh, bright feel to the cloud and for the white for the white i'm going to do the same thing all right to increase the strength of the um, white a little bit more and i'm going to increase the texture to add contrast to the pixels like so all right and i'll increase the clarity just a little bit just to add more depth to the colors and i'm going to reduce this a little bit more like so and i'm going to go straight to the um hsl adjustment so i'll click on the saturation to reduce the saturation of the field so since we have orange as the color of the field i'm going to dial the orange down so you have to make it look like things are things are really looking bad all right and for the green i'm going to put down that up just to add more depth to the color of the green all right i'm going to push that up like so so i want to boost the color of the tree more select brush here and i'll change this back to uh, reset this back to the co local color settings and i'm just going to check the mask box here to us to be able to see how i'm applying my brush so i'm just going to brush like so so next is to uncheck the mask off in here and i'll go to the saturation and increase the saturation all right so this is cool so i'm going to just say um okay right so this is the before and this is the after so the next thing we're going to do is to add sunlight to this we create a new layer and i'll come here and choose orange all right okay so let the brush to make sure your brush is on soft brown brush and i'll increase the flow back to 100 and increase the size of my brush and i'm just going to brush somewhere here like so so i'm going to change this to screen and i'll create a new layer again this is the size of my brush drag this down to add a little bit of orange again click again so i'll change my blend mode to screen i'll make a new layer again and this time i'll just push this to the lighter part of the orange so i'm just going to replace this with the free transform and i'll scale this a big light so so for this go up screen again and let's do this okay like so i'll put this in a group it's ctrl g and i'll add the vector max to this so i'm going to hold down ctrl and click on the, the thumbnail of the tree to create a macro selection and the next thing i'm going to do is to fill it with black so I am going to hold down control because the background of my color here is black. I'm going to hold down control backspace to apply the color. The sunlight layer is now behind the tree. So what we're going to do is to bring that back by selecting the, the vector mask box. And I'm going to select the brush tool. And I'm just going to randomly make sure this is set to white like the way it is. And I'm just going to randomly click to add the sunlight effect back. right so one other thing i'm going to do again is to add the lens flare so i'm going to hold on alt and click and i'll hit okay so i'm going to change, click on this button to switch back to the default color and i hold on alt backspace click on filter render lens flare all right so i'm just going to just make this be on this angle like this and i'll hit okay so i'll change this back to screen and I'm going to position it somewhere here. All right, reduce the opacity. And just brush some part of this out. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add the other information to the design. All right. So I think I still need to add some more effect to this. So I'm just going to create a new layer and I'll hold this lines. And I'm going to make this um, soft overlay. Check the fill with overlay neutral color, 50% gray option. And I'm just going to say OK. And I'm going to filter noise and I'll add noise like so. I'm just going to, just going to move this down. All right, so I'm going to say OK. Then I'll reduce the opacity of the layer. 
just like so all right and i'm going to go to the curve adjustment select the brush tool because i don't want it to affect the tree so i'm going to increase the size of my brush tool and make sure that your foreground is set to black because our vector max is white so i'm just going to brush the tree like so all right so one other thing i can do again is to boost the color of the tree so i'm just going to go to hue saturation dial this up increase the saturation like so and i'll hit the ctrl i on my keyboard select the brush tool again and just brush i'm switch to white all right and i'm just going to brush i'm thinking of adding red to this so i'm just going to call to color balance on the mid tone i'm just going to increase the red like so i'm going to push the red up to about this point okay and one other thing i think i can do again is to add the vignette effects so i'm going to click on the curve adjustment again push this down hit the control line on my keyboard increase the size of my brush reduce the flow to text in and just brush i'm going to reduce the strength of the heel of the heel change the curve adjustment to luminosity all right yeah this is good so i'm going to do the same thing here i'm changing this to luminosity then the last thing we're now going to do is to put our trees all right the dry trees okay then i'm gonna right click, i'm gonna select this one here right click on it and select this then go to filter blog gallery and select field blog push this down like so and i'll select okay so I'm going to do the same thing to the other trees. So I'm going to right click on this one. So the next thing is to put the trees in the group and then put them below the layer of the noise. So I'm going to hold down shift and select the layers and hit Ctrl G on my keyboard to put them in the group and I'll call this. So I'm going to drag now and drop here like so. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you have not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials so i'll see you guys again in my next tutorial peace